talk about the fraud and the scams that go on with company drivers. Mm. Give me give me your top five. Give me your top five lies that the trucking companies tell. Top five lies. First one will be is we're a family. Mm. That's the first. That's the first lie you're gonna get. Yeah. Oh, we're a family. That's lie. Second is you know you can go home every two weeks. <laughs> when really, what dictates if you can go home is your pay. Yeah, so that's a lie. Another one is uh that high ass yearly amount they put on an OTR driver on the website. We may make uh, ninety grand a year. Our yeah. top drivers. <laughs> yeah, they really mean our top driver. So there's yeah. one guy doing that. Yeah, there's one guy doing it. Another thing is uh not ex- not not explaining to people that that number comes from um operation uh successful bonuses fuel bonuses that yeah. that number comes from a lot of shit it's really 60,000 a year absolutely and i'll tell you one especially now the you'll make this a week even as oh, a company driver a, a the, week the, the uh, a week conversation the a week conversation Ugh. oh my god it is it is such a lie it is such yeah. a lie because nothing is a week unless they're going to give you a salary. And there's like 1% of the industry that gives out a salary. Oh, my God. It's slim to none. And I mean, we know one, but it's just like, yeah, yeah. it's 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 1% of the industry that gives out a salary. And trust me, they and when they do give you a salary, they synthetically make it hard to drive. Absolutely. They have it boiled down to the point where you will never be able to bullshit. Yeah. So if they're giving you $1,100, you are doing $2,300 worth of work. Absolutely. The only thing it helps you on is that, hey, man, when I'm home, I still get the 1100 When I'm sick, I still get the 1100 Yeah. That's where that's where it kind of evens out at. But if you're like, I'm just healthy for six months and I'm just running, they're going to run the dog shit out of you. And you must understand that if they can give you a flat rate like that, they're making a bunch of fucking money off what you're doing. Absolutely. Or the <laughs> the weekly guarantee. They're going to work you for that guarantee. Oh. God, the- like i mean think about i <laughs> think about our our and we know one so shout out to her our dollar account people mm. listen bro oh. I, I listen i've been touching freight for a long time and i'm not doing the dollar account bro i'm not no. about to be in the back of a van slanging boxes for three and four hours you know i've and this is something i'm gonna say and i don't know if it counts against me or not mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. i've never touched freight Really? Ever. Unless you unless you unless you count flatbed as touching freight. I is, count that as touch freight. But it's not. Yeah. It's I not. mean it's not obviously but touch freight is when yeah. you have to physically get it on and off of the truck. Okay. Yeah. Now you are touching it, you're putting the tarp on it, but you're not yeah. picking it up and taking it into the store. I, I've never done that. Right, right. None of that Dollar Tree account, none of that uh, yeah. uh, Family Dollar, none of that JB Hunt bullshit. Yeah, where they Cisco. don't even use pallets; they just pile it in there. You open it, and you got a one, one, oh two, my. one, two that whole shit off the truck. Oh. No, in Alabama, <laughs> <laughs> in the heat. Listen, I don't know what is with listen the <laughs> geographics. Of the let me say, I'm gonna tell you the the four. I don't care what time of year it is. These are the four hottest states at any given time: Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, and for fan favorite, Arkansas. And the truth is, what we're really discussing is humidity because the king yes. hot state temperature wise is Arizona. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it isn't the same. No. Like when you go to Arizona, yeah, it's hot, but it is not like Mississippi. Oh. Mississippi, that muckiness that listen, we used to call it uh, slave heat. Yeah. That's that, <laughs> that's that bowel of battery. That's something oh. else. Because when you take people from California or yeah. or, 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 or or New Mexico and Arizona yeah. and they get down to the, the Mobile, Alabama, they're oh. dying, bro. Mobile. They don't oh know why they're so god. wet. Why am I? Oh wet? my god! You just you just wake up and your teeth are just sweating. You're just, just wet. <laughs> just you just damp all day for no and reason. You don't understand how these black people you see on the side of the road are just outside chilling, right? Chilling, just soaking in the heat, just soaking yeah. it. 
just basking in the just sunlight. Ba- <laughs> <laughs> just glazing inside yeah. of the heat. And then, man, I had to go down there. I went to uh, down the back road, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. It was so Louisiana back road that on the side of the road, there were weeping willows. Oh, yeah. They're like, like, like those are slave plantation trees. Oh, yeah. So you go in the back. There's swamps. There's signs that say, don't go near the swamp. Mm-hmm. So I, I hit the corner, come back. They're about to load me. And they told me, oh, you don't have to tarp. But when I get there, the dude says, you do have to tarp. Yeah. So I get it. I'm tarping. And, oh, you tarp in the back. You go to the back. The bugs, bro. The bugs everywhere. <laughs> oh, the southern bugs? <laughs> and, and you, have, you have to be clear. The Louisiana bugs. Oh, specifically, yeah. True Southern. The yeah. Louisiana, the Florida panhandle bugs are totally different. Listen, have you ever seen <laughs> you ever seen a, a, a bayou mosquito? Nick nigga. Nigga. They're scared the hell out of you. I my grandfather, my step grandfather, yeah, it lives in Louisiana. He used to build missiles for Boeing. Mm-hmm. Or he built aircraft for Boeing or whatever. And he has a house down there. I had never been so. I, I, one time I was a kid. I was. I went outside. Yeah. Everybody's eating inside. The food is good. I'm from Virginia, so that down home is good. I'm good. I'm chilling. Oh, yeah. so I'm just sitting out there chilling. You know, just loving life. I'm yeah. about twelve. And on the wall, it looked like a piece of cabbage. <laughs> a piece oh, of no. Yeah. And my head is here, and let's say that the porch wall was like right here. You know, it's like a thing yeah. open. It's probably a little storage area. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So I look at it it's like that's weird. Who who threw lettuce on the wall? <laughs> so I'm chilling. And I'm looking down. There's no phones back then, so I'm just yeah. playing, looking down. And I look up, and it looks like the lettuce moved from here to there. Oh no! I'm thinking it's sliding down the wall. Oh no! So I look at it, and I get closer to it. And the fucker flies away. Oh, I'm screaming. I'm, I'm right. Dude, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm hollering. Lost it, bro. Yeah. I said, Your fucking cabbage is alive. And I ran through the house. They didn't know what I was talking about. Apparently, it was a moth. I don't know. It was something like that. Oh, but man. The size, I had never seen a praying mantis so big. Yeah. He had, oh time, he had time to grow down there. What is he eating? <laughs> Other bugs. They just, they just be out there. Dude, I, I said, I can't be here. I, dude was like, man, make sure you get a thing in the middle because the snakes are all around the side. And while I'm, <laughs> while I'm tarping it, while I'm tarping it, you can yeah. see snakes slithering across. Man. The tarping. man. I said, never again, bro. And the heat, I had to stop and go inside of the truck every 10, 20 minutes because the heat was that bad. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking, I'd have made a terrible slave, dude. I died. I wouldn't have made it. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> Nobody, no way. But y'all want to go down. Y'all want to be uh, OTR and think you can handle it until you get one of them people who got a lumber yard down south. And oh, you're screwed, man. bro. Hello, Trucker Brown here. I'm so happy that you are here on Rumble TV Uncut. We are up to 350 followers. I appreciate every person that decided to come over and follow. Why go to Rumble? Well, in Rumble, you will get 100% of your notification. You won't get this, oh, I didn't get your notification, TB. I didn't know you were live, TB. Over there, you get 100% of it. You actually get two notifications over there. Also, over there, we can say what we want. We can speak freely because the Rumble platform really pushes freedom of speech. Don't do drugs. Be happy. Follow me, Trucker Brown, over there on Rumble.